Hi there, pull tab lovers of the world. Just a short update, number four already in the list, to show you that the pull project is still alive and kicking. What happened this week? Did we have mail? Yes, I had mail. I had mail from, I had one envelope actually from uh, Annemiek Jonker. She uh, already promised me to send me the tabs uh, last week. You can see all about this in the previous update. And just look at how she did this. She, she tied all pull tabs of one location uh, together. So you cannot, um, yeah, they cannot get apart from each other and you clearly know which pull tab has been found where, which she put on a little note. This is really um, a good way to do it. So uh, way to go uh, Annemiek. And I retrieved this bag, which was sent to me already a while ago, but which I lost for a moment, but I now retrieved it. And it has two pull tabs from Lebanon. So that brings me to an update of the global map. Uh, as you can see from the world view, we now have five different countries, but they're relatively close to each other. So let's zoom into a European scale, a European Middle East scale. And you can see we have now five different countries. So if you know that there is 195 countries in the world, and we now have five on the global map, you can calculate that we have already 2% of the entire globe covered. But others have promised me already to send me some pull tabs from uh, several places like Vancouver in Canada and New Jersey in the United States. And somebody would send me pull tabs from Egypt. Uh, and there's a good chance that someone will send me pull tabs from China. Of course, as we all know, a promise is not the act in itself. So this is just a friendly reminder to those people to not forget it because I'm waiting for it and counting on you. Well, what have, have I been up to this week? Well, I've done mainly a lot of uh, patent studies and you can really tell that there was a hard competition uh, between companies in the 1960s, all trying to be the first to do the, the best pull tab ever invented. Looking at patents, I found the original patent of a guy named uh, Omar Brown, who was the first one to um, invent uh, a stay on tab. And I got it right here. It's a really interesting thing to read and I'll upload it to the Patreon page later this week for your reference. Studying patents has one big disadvantage, and that is that a patent does not tell you whether a certain type of pull tab was actually produced. So that's why it's important that you guys keep sending me pull tabs so we can see which pull tabs were actually around in the world and can now be found in the streets. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll send you another update shortly.